Once upon a time, there was a girl named Opal who wanted to sail around the world. So when Opal turned 15, she asked her parents to let her take their sailboat. After many days of begging, they finally let her. So Opal began her journey, waving goodbye to her parents on the California coast. Her journey began smoothly, but one month later, a storm began to brew in the Pacific Ocean. The clouds grew dark, and the waves knocked her boat back and forth. Just when she thought the storm was over, a giant wave capsized her boat. The next morning, she found herself stranded on a deserted island. She waited for rescue month after month, but no one came. Feeling helpless and alone, she decided to take matters into her own hands. She remembered an incantation her mother used to use when she went fishing. She wasn't sure if it would work. She could barely remember the words. But she knew she had to try or she would remain stranded on the island forever. She spent months gathering what she would need. Fish, firewood, and a makeshift cauldron. Glowing lights swirled around her as she chanted the incantation. She watched in awe as her hands turned into fins and her nose lengthened into a sword. But her awe soon turned to terror as she realized she was far up on the beach and might not be able to reach the ocean. She took off running, her feet slowly disappearing as a tail with fins replaced them. At the edge of the beach, she jumped toward the ocean just as the transformation was complete. She landed in the water, prepared to start her journey home, but soon realized she had no idea how to swim as a fish. After swimming in circles for hours, she began to get the hang of it, and she set off in the direction of home. Along the way, she faced many obstacles. She almost got caught in a fisherman's net. She learned to survive eating squid and mackerel, and she barely escaped a shark attack by spearing it through the eye with her sword and swimming away as more circled in. Finally, Months after leaving the island, the shore was in sight. She swam up onto the beach, hoping that the land would break the spell. Her fins began to lengthen into arms, and her tail split into legs as the spell was broken by her washing onto the sand. She stood on wobbly legs and was overjoyed at the sight of her home on top of a nearby hill. She ran up the hill toward her home. When she reached her front door, she stood in disbelief, unable to comprehend she had really, truly made it. Slowly opening the door, she saw the familiar faces of her parents in the living room. Anxiously, she called out to them. But they had long ago assumed she was dead and were slow to recognize her. When they finally realized who she was, they jumped up to welcome the daughter they thought they had lost.